Hi everybody, welcome to this video which is a qualifying round free video guide for the Lakefront Links 9 Hole Cup here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Tournament wins here, please make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, totally free to do so. I'm pleased to report I did have some spare time, there will be a final round score booster video out on Saturday to help you as well. As usual, plenty of drops here, tweak and adapt according to your play style and balls available. And of course, put in some wind strength and wind angle tweaks if you can. Always best to take a token first. Timestamps in the video description down below. Good luck. Here we go. Hole number one. Start with the quarterback and the kingmaker. Blue ring touching the rough on the left at P3 max rest. Then we switch to our APOC bag and add spin. We're going with 5.8 top spin and three bars side spin to the right. Trying to find a gap down through the trees, rolling out from the rough towards the green area. The adjustment here, beware of those trees in the way, of course. Max plus 10, power 3. So maximum distance, 10% elevation, power 3 numbers. We're going with two balls of curl. So look at the inside tip of the triangle being vertically aligned with the base of the T. You can switch to a higher power ball, give you a slower needle if you want to. Catching the rough very nicely and rolling down towards the fringe and fairway for an easy end bring a wedge. On this par three, you don't have to use a precision ball. I'm doing it to speed up the content creation process. We're going with a three and a half backspin and one bar of side spin to the left. And it's the last point where the ball's, uh, ball guide does not get clipped by the fairway. So the first point it gets clipped by the rough. And then what I do with the ball guide through the hole, of course, I then remove the bar of left spin. So we're going with the back spin only. You'll see the offset like that. Of course, if you're worried about the time, then you could just go directly with three and a half back spin and replicate the ball guide shown at that point in the video. So first little section of uh, ground where the ball guide gets clipped. That's the important thing here. Mid plus five, power three settings. And then we centre the ball and hit perfect. This is mid-wind strength and mid-wind angle, so you can tweak from there. Catching the rough very nicely and rolling in beautifully for a hole in one on this par three. Onto a par five now, we're going to start with... Actually, we are going to take our shot with the quarterback as well, followed by sniper. Blue ring touching the rough on the right at P3 max rest. The spin here... We're going to go with one bar of backspin and three bars left spin. Now, wind angle makes it difficult to see here, so you might need to um, adapt your camera view. Try and zoom in as much as you can. Hopefully those trees aren't going to be in the way. We're going max distance, 10% elevation here on our adjustment for me. That's 8.4 rings. And then we are going to take our shot. Uh, we are using some curl. We're going to go with 0 0.9 ball curl, so edge of the ball halfway into the wall on the left and it's just before circle drop as the overpower reference hit perfect on this one it is a bit of a narrow line but you've got good accuracy with the quarterback and your drive distance is going to be around 320 yards going to uh, give you a tweak here in fact i'd like you to tweak the aim on this one based on the miss in the video we're finding the min line so pack the grizzly and then push up until you have the blue ring uh, like the top half of it, following that rough line. Uh, here I pushed up seven rings from min. Then I'm adding top spin, and you can see one bar of right spin. Having the ball guide in this instance, just under one green square beyond the hole, and it's passing the right edge of the cup. But we will need to tweak that based on this video. So that's what I did here. You will need to obviously adapt based on the uh, quantity of the miss. Rings from min, minus 10 elevation, 7 rings up from min for reference is 18% slider. So make sure you have a table ready in case you push up a different number of rings from min. Centering the ball and hitting perfect, and you'll see here, just if you want to tweak this one, uh, we need to aim at just about half a cup to the right, uh, more than what I did in the video, and you should drop for albatross. We're going to try and catch a funnel here. We're going with three backspin and three right spin. And we're going to have here, uh, with a sniper, we're going to be um, not really looking at the plus yardage, but you can as a reference. I'm in plus six 
but I'm more or less looking at the tip of the ball guide touching the right edge of the cup. There's a small sticky spot there. It's not very big though, but try and find the middle of it if you can. Plus six is useful as a starting point, but the focus primarily should be the ball guide with spin added. Max plus 25, power three settings use sniper 10 numbers. That's a 10 ring adjustment for me, I believe there. And then I'm going with inner wall curl to the right and hitting perfect. Now, bear in mind, obviously, with winds above 7.8, you are going to need to do two pulls. So if you've got a wind four ball available, it will help your drop rate increase. But there, we're catching the slope beautifully, glancing off the pin and falling for the hole in one. Very tough hole, this, with a new pin location. We're going with the quarterback. Top of plus three yards, blue ring touching the rough. Then I'm adding half a bar of right spin and switching to my Apocalypse and Guardian bag. Guardian 8 and 9 really is all I'm recommending here because of distance. So once we've done the club swap, we are going to adjust max plus 10. Max plus 10. Now, bear in mind, this second shot, it is tough. And if you are slightly bit out or don't put any wind angle, wind strength tweaks in, you may, if unlucky, roll down into the rough. If you do not want that risk, do not play the shot. It's very simple. Just play yourself on the green for a safe uh, birdie. But if you want to go for it, here it is. Pin check gives me plus 10. Then I add max backspin with one bar of right spin. Now it's all about the second bounce here. Look at the dividing line with the dark and green, light green square column. Second bounce at the beginning of the fringe with all of that graphic there, all of that bounce being just inside the edge of the uh, dark green squares. Crucial to get that right. If you are a little bit out or you are less accurate with your pull angle, then you will roll down into the rough, most likely. So the risk is there and you have been advised. But here for a plus 10 pin check, uh, I'm going 70% slider, 30% elevation. And then we centre the ball and absolutely have to hit perfect on this one. And we're going for a backdoor approach here. Bouncing on the slope, we get a high bounce, checks up nicely and rolls in for an eagle. But it's a very risky and tough approach. Safe eagle, outside chance for an albatross with only a titan. Red ring, touching the rough on the left at the top of plus four with the quarterback. Then we are going with two bars, left spin only. Adjustment here is maximum distance with 5% elevation. If you want to use a kingmaker, you can do. However, Titan will be safe, assuming, of course, you hit perfect and set up correctly. You're going to have no problems here with your eagle. Making our adjustment for me looks like 10 rings. And then I'm going to go with half a ball of curl to the left. No overpower, just tapping it down nicely with the quarterback towards the end of the fairway. And then we're going to use the sniper for our approach. So make sure you pack the correct clubs for this one. Drive distance is going to be around 310. All right, then. now we're going to add spin first. We are going with here one bar of backspin, two right spin. Then I'm looking at the second bounce. Uh, just inside the fringe there, a couple of green square rows onto the green, or level with them at least. Red ring touching the rough, blue ring touching the bunker. Plus 7 for the landing position with sniper 10 will be plus 9 with sniper 9. And in both of those cases, I'm going to play 88% slider, 5% elevation. Sniper 10 numbers, and you can see there I'm making two pulls over the bullseye. If you need more information on pulling over the bullseye, rings from min... Reference checks, check out the Academy tutorials. We've got a playlist full of great content to help you on the channel homepage. 0.8 ball, curl to the right. Look at the edge of the ball as your marker. And we're going onto the green nicely. You can tweak it if you like. Coming in a bit hot and just skimming over the left edge. But we've got a very simple put for the eagle. Hole in one here. In fact, no, it's not a hole in one. It's very nearly a hole in one. Uh, very, very close though. Blue ring touching the beginning of the fringe and the rough on the right at the same time. Adding our spin, we're going with three bars of right spin. 
and two backspin and you can see there I'm just taking one click off the right spin so it's two backspin and about 2.9 right spin however I think I lipped out of this one did a 180 if I remember correctly so you might want to put a tweak in if you like medium distance 10% elevation and we're using power three numbers you don't have to use the precision ball once again this was just so it would speed up the creation of content here so I could get the content ready for you uh, center the ball hitting perfect we'll have a look at this one it bounces very safely before the green the spin does its thing and it's looking good but just uh, catching the right edge of the cup so maybe one click less of the right spin aggressive option here uh, with a berserker apoc 5 and above we're going to go with 5.8 top spin and one bar of left spin blue ring touching the rough on the right p5 max rest with apoc 5 and 6 apoc 4 you'll have 30 percent of the blue ring overlapping the rough and you will need to stretch out approximately uh, 1.9 or 2 rings into overpower to find your position max plus 10 p5 if you've got apoc 4 you would then push up um, 7 yards or 1.9 rings full overpower slow needle outer wall curl to the left now annoyingly on this hole it doesn't often show you where the first bounce is I did play it a few times and I was okay on all of them but if you want to test and put in some wind strength tweaks then it will help you Drive distance around 430 to 435 yards. Second shot now we're going with three backspin and two bars of right spin. I've given you a tweak on the notepad here based on the miss in the video. Didn't quite drop this one. But I'm aiming at the pin there. Ball guide a little bit short of the hole. And we're looking at our landing position plus yards. Plus four with the thorn. I'm going to play it 80% slider or rather I should have played it 80% slider by my estimations best based on the miss in the video with 20% elevation it's 2% per yard so if you're at plus 5 you played 82% instead centering the ball hitting perfect like I said didn't drop it here for you unfortunately but hopefully that tweak will get you in for the eagle Par 5 now start with a quarterback and uh, power 3 max rest position bullseye in the middle of the fairway then switch to our APOC and Grizzly bag. 5.8 top spin, one right spin. And then we're going to adjust max plus 10, power 3. Now I would suggest, and I do it here in the video, just to safeguard in case you don't have Grizzly 9 and you don't have um, a good plus yard check or you're just into overpower on the approach. Uh, here you can see I'm doing it in the video. I push up half a ring after I adjust. That's just to make sure, like I said, to safeguard against uh, those with low level clubs. So max plus 10, uh, half a ring push up and then full overpower. It's a nice and slow needle, no curl, just concentrate on hitting perfect. We're gonna bounce on the fairway, second bounce into the rough and then rolling out towards the tree shadow here. Drive distance is gonna be around 355 yards. Second shot, I went with power three numbers in the video. I would suggest you go with power four settings instead. 2.2 bars of top spin. And look at the ball guide. I want it to be uh, two green squares beyond the pin, blue ring touching the rough, and the left edge of the ball guide is touching the right edge of the cup. Plus three is my landing position here. That would be plus six with Grizzly seven and eight. So that's why I say if you are worried about that, adjusting into overpower, you will see my plus yards slowly increase there. You could do a little bit more push up on the drive, but for reference here, 88% slider, 10% elevation is what I went with. Uh, I use power three numbers, it is under adjusted. I would recommend that you go with power four instead. That would be my suggestion of how to get this shot to drop for the Albatross. Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clan mates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots. Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash 
resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.